Hello my lovelies, hello. So today I am going to show you how to make bees wax wraps. Um, in the Facebook group there is a PDF with all the instructions as well as the things that you'll need. So um, I'm going to hear, be here today and uh, demonstrate it for you. So I have got here my beeswax pellets, they're really nice cosmetic grade because obviously if we're using them on food wraps they want to be good quality. And then I have got my piece of fabric, 35 centimetres square-ish, <laughs> it's not perfect. Um, I've cut it with pinking shears so that it doesn't fray too much hopefully. And I've got my greaseproof paper sheets here, which are cut bigger than the fabric. So I'm going to I pre let me show you what I'm doing. So I've got my ironing board here, which I have protected with an old towel because I don't want the um, the beeswax spilling onto my cover of my ironing board. So I've got one layer of the baking paper then my um, fabric and then you really only need a sprink a scatter a sprinkling this is actually quite a heavy fabric and I've just tried it out on a slightly lighter one so uh, for this demonstration I might actually need a little bit more than you find you need if you use a slightly lighter weight um, cotton. I've just gone through my box of bits of fabric and um, you know just use the off cuts so just something like that and then we can fill in the bits and then we get our second piece of baking parchment and layer it over the top like that and then we Use a dry iron. We don't want to. Um, we don't want the steam. And you just push the iron over like this, and the little pellets start to melt. You can see them through the greaseproof paper. So um, you can have a peel it back and have a look. And see how starting to melt through you can see where it's melting and we just we just keep going until it's saturated you can see where the color where it's coming through it's quite exciting there we are you can see the darker and you can see the gaps so then you can put extra bits on and then you want to go right to the edges put some, can you see the edge I'm going to pull it down in a minute so you can you can try and sort of do a corner there we are oops and Obviously, because it's kind of liquid, you don't have to place it exactly because it will sort of move and you can push it with the iron. So let's see. Let's see how, how that's doing. Oh, that's pretty good. There's a little bit here that hasn't quite melted yet. So, can you, oh it's quite hot, be careful, you see in that little corner there it's still dry, you can, if you can't see it on the video, you, you'll be able to see it when you're actually doing it, and um, just again fill in those little bits, um, yeah this is definitely taking more of the wax because it's a thicker weight fabric but it's just what I had in my fabric box so a 
there we go so that need to do that over the whole whole piece of fabric I don't think you want to watch me doing it although it's quite therapeutic I have to say so do this all over your piece of fabric working your way and and then just leave it to cool um, by the time you've got to the other end the, this part this the beginning part will probably be dry but just leave it to cool and then peel off the grease proof paper the baking paper and um, leave all the excess excess behind so um, so there we go that's it it's fairly straightforward um, oh my camera's gone a bit wonky um, so I'd love to know how you get on if you have a go because obviously you'll need to order the beeswax um, and find a piece of fabric so um, I you might not do it straight away um, it absolutely smells lovely because it's really really nice beeswax it smells beautiful so let me know if you have a go um, post a picture um, in the Facebook group I'd love to see it and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.